Makola wale ajayi, aka di ganga. I was and I still am. Olatunde George. Then I was known as Georgie Omega. Yeah, um, my name is Stephen Okekule, aka Chipo. My name is Inka Falabi. Um, Choma, Chomila, Mila, Don Chichi, Chiboy, Achoms, all sorts. Yeah. I have thoroughly enjoyed myself. Um, it's it's been such a good reunion. Um, it's been, it's a perfect day. Summer 2013. I'll not forget. I'll never forget this summer. Um, great day to see you guys again. Yomi, Fumio Gidon, Kimberly, Diganga, Bumi, everybody. Some guys actually came here today and have gone home. We've had a great day. I've enjoyed it. I mean, what what I think is, if you guys can do it, like make it like. Um, not class of 97. No, 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 this is not class of 97. Oh, it's just reunion. Oh, all right. Friends. It's no, really like, like... I try to, you know, make sure everybody understands that. It's not, I mean, for example, I myself, I'm 2K. Actually, ever since I've come to, <laughs> ever since I've come to UK, I just saw Chomina once, and it's a great time for me to, like, see him again. Oh, yeah. Actually, I used to see my guy every, every time. And so, I think I saw you last... I know you, but you don't know me. It's a good. Um. Well, it's like it goes for most reunions. It's 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 always very very it's always a very very good time because like like I told somebody today that it's like ten years have flown past because I could remember that. 2003, when when we were leaving school, we were like, well, we came here 1997, 98, and we're living now. The five years were long, but the ten years that has been between graduation and now has been double the time and it's flown past. So it's it's a very very nice opportunity to see people, network with people, find out what people are doing, and uh, the my the only thing I have to give to the advisors is like. It's just like nicer to spread the the net a bit wider and have it something more recurrent. Thank you very much. Um, it's been a lovely day. I've enjoyed myself. <laughs> it's been a lovely day. I have really, really enjoyed myself. And I'll come again. Yeah? We will come again. I'm sure that this is annually. We should do this Um, annually is too No. Um, to distance. Oh, that is the one. Thank you. Every six months. Every six months will be good, yes. Right. I support that. Okay, we'll take all the advice to the um, By the way, where, where, where is this? Where is this going to be um, broadcasted? The video? BBC? Sky? Okay. So we are open by uh, the end of the week. Okay. It should be done. And uh, we will actually send out like, a request for us to put this up. And if you all agree that we should go ahead and do it, but we can't put you know, something like this up before. Without you guys knowing. I was just. Trick number nine seven zero three five five. So good I can still remember that because I spent eight years in school. 
instead of five. <laughs> Eight. Eight. Yeah. Yeah, I had a very good degree after that. Did you uh, have a nickname? Nickname? No, I can't remember. No, it was just normal. No nickname. I was a good boy. No nickname. Electrical student. One of the hardest courses in Lautech. It wasn't easy to pass through. But I made it finally. My name, um, Aout Niola Dimeji. 950-356. Electrical. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Um, nah, nah. Never in school too, anyway. So. <laughs> what? Yes, I did. Um, one year extra. Hello, my name is Owo Fasagbemre. My nickname was Lolo's then. I was, I was no more by that, by that name. My matric number nine six zero nine six two. And I was in medicine. <laughs> Hi, um, my name is Karen Diademolu, matric number 960026. Um, I was agricultural economics. My nickname, ironically, was Tall Kenny. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, that's about it. Um, most embarrassing moment in Lautech? <laughs> my most embarrassing moment was um, a night when I went and got. Unfortunately, I went and smoked the wrong thing, and I had to have my friends take me to the hospital. They did not. I did tell you what, what he smoked. <laughs> he smoked cannabis, popularly known as Igbo, then, and I was actually there that night. And I was, yes, I was the doctor who attended to him then. Well, did I smoke then that night too? Okay, then that, that must be my most embarrassing moment then. <laughs> most embarrassing moments. I can't actually remember because maybe same thing over and over again where you get so drunk and you can't actually remember what happened. <laughs> so that's it. Um, I think my most embarrassing moments in Lautic was um, I could remember vividly it was a year part four when I walked into a class and the whole class was like who are you looking for and they were they, I think some of them made a comment uh, he's a visiting student never around <laughs> so I think it was most embarrassing because the lecturer was like you don't mean it and the man had to take me up um well to the glory of I'm a project consultant Really, yes, because now I see the, you know, whatever is going to come good must go through fire. So I would say loud takers, they said the Thompson Bonner is not for the gold, but the black furnace. So but I would say, well, loud tech has really made me who I am today. And I'm proud being a loud kite. Um, I'm a test engineer with um, Olympus group of companies. I would say that, well, Lautech has been a strong part of my life because it's made me who I am today. I've come out strong and um, it's been good passing through Lautech. What was the question? I'm a doctor, yes, I, w I work with the NHS. Yes, it has. And it, I mean, Lautec has taught me that there's, there's always light at the, at the end of the dark, dark tunnel. Yeah. Um, I'm a cybersecurity consultant. Um, I think Lautec more or less
taught me to think. I think that's the whole idea of a degree anyway. Not, not particular knowledge, but how to gain the knowledge yourself. And that's what Naltech taught me to do. I didn't have the chance to attend the lecture most of the time in the early, in the early years because Wait, they were you just too full. The, the lecture theaters were too full in the first few years, so I didn't attend most of my lectures, but I learned to think outside the box myself. Um, in Lautech, lecturer-student relationship is one of the very key things ever. And um, could you advise on what way this can improve? Um, I don't think there should be a student lecture relationship. I think this, they like. I think a le no. I'm, I'm referring to academic. Academically, the lecturers should teach and mentor, and that and just and just about that. And the t students should just be willing to get the knowledge from the lecturer and not, and not need to carry favors. Well, students. Lecturer's relationship. I won't say it's the lecturer's fault. It's the cost of the support they get from the school, as well. They are limited to the knowledge they are limited to have as well. So I would say it's up to the student to gain every knowledge possible from the lecturers, if they can. And uh, well, they just have to improve themselves, as we have all done. Um, lecturer to student relationship. Is that the question? Lecturer to student relationship. I would say, well, from my own experience, it wasn't a good one. Um, I've worked some years in, you know, in the field I came to study, Lautech. They saw me as a threat rather than somebody to support. So they made it look for me like a hell on earth, if I can put it that way. And um, it's just down to, they were not well equipped and um, they were not ready to learn from people who are more exposed than them. So it was, they were meant to see us as a finished product that they should be proud of, rather than something of, you know, they are not, too, I don't know, I don't know the way they say it. They're meant to see us as a finished product they should be proud of, rather than seeing us as an element that would not be useful for the society. So that's my own experience and I, well, if this message is going back to them, I want to say, well, thank God a lot of them now are coming out seeing what a lecturing should be, which is different from entirely what it is. That's what advice do you have to give? Well, my advice is um, we need to know what, you see, we, we go through schools without understanding what the demand, you know, in the industry is of what you're doing. And we're not properly counsel of about what we should be doing and what we should not be doing. So my advice to the upcoming students is they should read vast and tend to read, you know, industrialized magazines. So as to give them exposures. That's my advice. God bless you. My advice is to the students back in school is study hard, face your studies. Don't be like me that spent three more years instead of five. And um, focus on what you came to school to do and come out at the right time. Advice for students now is, I mean, the same advice that has always been, just have to study hard. Hard work pays, so just study hard and you will make it. Advice to current students is, um, your, your degree is just the beginning. You have so much more to achieve, but it's, even though it's just the beginning, it's really important. It's best to finish school with as best grades as you can get, so that you at least you land on as high a platform as possible. Um, I would say it's, it's really a nice thing for the union. Um, in terms of for those that put this together, the organizers, um, 
for me, I would like to do more of it. Um, I really envy them to have put this together. It's such a nice organization. And that shows they are well organized and I respect them for it. Seeing new faces, old faces, and people doing very well. It's a thing of joy for me, personally. I just want to appreciate Kim for all of this because she's the reason that this has happened and we are very grateful. Thank you very much for a wonderful evening, Kim. Thank you. Uh, the second uni? 2000. <laughs> yeah, 2000 sets. Class of 2006, mechanical engineering. Do you remember your matching? Of course, of course. 990341. Yeah, why not? <laughs> Nine nine zero three four one. All right, brilliant. Who is your experience like if you're going to sum it up? Who is your experience like in Calcutta? Yeah, I'll go back there again. You will. Amazing. If I have a second chance. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. What do you think of the millennials? Of those who are late? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's allowed to be late sometimes, but yeah, I had fun. It's nice. Thank Seeing you. old friends and all of that. Yeah. So what do you think? Of course, yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for your time. Thank you so much. So, um, I've been the interviewer for today. My name is Kimberly Ayilabola. I was uh, the 2000 set in Lautech. Uh, my metric number would be 2K1425. I am ecstatic to actually see a lot of people here today. I think we've done a great job. Um, it's the reunion after all, and we've um, been able, myself, Kola, Ajayi, and um, one, day, <laughs> one day, we've been able, Kola actually come over, we've been able to, uh, we, you would say we've been able to, you know, do well, a good job look, here. Yeah? I, I, there's, there's so much to thank God for, you know, yes, we, it, it, was, it was really, really a wonderful day. A lot of people have really come here with surprises and they've said a lot Absolutely. of positive things. Yeah. And another thing they said is um, they've given us a lot of constructive, a lot of advice, advice, constructive on, advice on how to move things forward. Yeah. Next year we're going to be planning a lot of DJ coming in and like lots of food, a big all. People yeah. want to come down and have a lovely and time a and lovely have, time. have a nice time dancing around. So yeah, yeah. we're going to work on that, I promise, yeah. promise. And, um, and a special thanks, big up to, to, to Kim. I think it's big up to you and well, every we did, other person. Everyone, well, everyone. And everybody did, that yeah, came. Yeah, yeah. And I everyone that came. I mean, I mean, a lot of people did not go to work today because of this. Absolutely. I mean, we're really, really happy for that. And, and we had people coming in from, you know, different places. Yes, not from all. London from Leeds. Shawe Akoroda, Leeds. Leeds from all. And far, far excess. That's where Kent. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. So here is, to, here is a shout out to everybody that was able to make it to this event. Yeah. And a thumbs down to everybody that didn't come. Ah. <laughs> but we will hopefully bring this up again yeah. in the nearest future. Yeah. And we hope we're able probably to create. Next year. Yeah, probably most likely most next likely. year. Yeah. Yeah. And we hope we're going to be able to create more awareness then. Yeah. And we hope the event is going to, you know. Yeah. Uh, encompass a lot of networking more than it did today. Today, yeah, really. yeah. And it's, it's quite good because I could see today George, you know, giving his card outs and people exchanging cards. Yeah, a lot cards. of people, not just today George, even Yomi. Yomi actually does project managing and also interior decorating as and well. And imagine as I well. I mean, I've met a lot of people. Yeah, in, I yeah. must say, I must say that Lautech has actually produced a lot of fantastic graduates. You see. I myself is not left out. Yeah. You is not left out either. So Thank I think, God. I think, the I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. So, case from us.